Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how you can get started with uh, Vibe Coding in ServiceNow if you want to create a widget or a business rule or whatever and uh, give you some tips and tricks on how to do it in the in the best way. So first off, we want to install SNUtils. So that is a pretty common extension. I have a video on it and how you can install it. So SNUtils allows us to connect certain um, uh, files in ServiceNow and connect them to VS Code if you want to use that uh, IDE. And then when you make a code change in your IDE in VS Code, for example, and you save that, that is also going to be saved at uh, or in the service now. So install uh, SNUtils, open VS Code if you want to use that. And we also want to install the SNUtils extension here in uh, VS Code. So just go to extensions and then you want to search, search for SNUtils. And uh, the, this is the one we're looking at. So install that. Once that is done, we want to install Klein. So this one, so this one is, is going to help us to uh, connect and uh, speak to the different uh, uh, models. So install Klein, uh, and then you get this pop-up on this uh, right hand side here. So you can click on it and here you can start building. So uh, click on this uh, here. And here is where you connect to the different model you want to use. So you can connect to one of these, for example, Claude or uh, Topic, but then you need to get a subscription and uh, uh, for this one, and you need to subscription for another mold if you want to use that. What I'd like to do is to go for open uh, router, and then you can go into um, uh, this site, openrouter.ai, and here you can uh, create an account and go to credits. And here you can add some uh, credits. So you pay like $10 or whatever that you want to use. So the cool thing about Open Router is you pay uh, one single fee of whatever, and then you can use all the different models. So if I click here on models, I can see all the different ones that are uh, new. And the cool thing about that is that it's coming new models every day and it's, it's going so fast. So if you like connect and use just one, it's going to be a bit limited. So it's very nice to have the options to connect to different ones. So I've been wanting to try this uh, Moonshot AI, Kimi2. It's supposed to be really great. And what's really nice about these Chinese models is that they are very cheap. So um, you can see here it's uh, quite cheap compared to uh, one of the other models, for example, Grok, uh, Grok4. It's uh, a lot more expensive, but uh, I haven't used Grok uh, for uh, yet, so that would be fun to do. So when I've programmed in ServiceNow, I've usually used uh, Grok three, and I've used uh, ChatGPT, and also used Claude. So and I haven't really done a comparison between them because uh, yeah, it's gonna take a bit of time. But uh, uh, maybe I'll do that in the future to see which one is, is the best. Uh, but they're coming new models all the time. So, yeah. So once you've done that, go to keys. And then we want to create uh, an API key. I have already done that, but simply create a new one. And then go back to uh, your uh, VS Code. And you paste in your open uh, router key right here. And then here you can choose the different models. So let me try that uh, moon. And this is the one. And here you can see stuff that uh, it can do and cannot do. Um, so this is, um, this for example, can't take uh, browser images. Let me see if I yeah, have zoomed in. Um, but that, but some uh, models can take uh, like images and that can be quite nice sometimes if you are looking to make the AI understand what you are looking at or understand like uh, how you wanted uh, things to be to be done so when that is done we want to uh, click into uh, let me just get out that manage client uh, rules and workflows and here we have these custom instructions so let's open uh, that one
Yeah, so here we can create instructions to the, the AI. So it will only follow these uh, rules and it, that can be very nice to do to simply avoid getting into uh, hallucinations of the, of the AI. So you're making strict rules about which t technology to use, uh, what is the best practice of server-side scripting, client-side, whatever. So I've done uh, this and it works uh, pretty good and you can add it to this and and remove stuff if you want to uh, and I can uh, paste this in the comment section of the video if you want to copy paste it but it's very handy to have this um, uh, global instructions to the to the AI so now let us uh, open a file so we are gonna open a, create a folder here just call it uh, whatever uh, widgets test. That is now going to be uh, totally blank. So let's get rid of the copilot here. And um, now we want to go into the service now. And let's uh, create a widget. And um, let's uh, put, us in the, put on the preview and uh, let's save that. And now we want to connect uh, the different ones. So we want to connect uh, all of this, like the HTML, CSS, and server script and whatnot. So let's go here and uh, now here you can see we have this button that we need to click to enable the, the script sync. So click there, go back to service now. And now we can click on this save kind of uh, thing here. Send script sync to uh, VS Code. Click on that and now we get this uh, pop-up right here. Sometimes you need to enable it, but this is already enabled. And I really like to turn on this uh, reload uh, active tab. What that means is when you do a, a, a save in uh, VS Code, uh, your uh, uh, widgets uh, or your um, files in the widget will also be saved and also do a reload. So don't need to manually go in and reload uh, the widget every time. So now we have clicked on uh, this and let's we have to do this for, for every um, uh, file that we want to send to VS Code. You can see up the, up the corner that the, let's also do the, the link sometimes can be handy and also these options for uh, for the schema. Yeah, let's do a demo data as well, why not? So now let's go into this code. And now you can see here that we got all of the different uh, files right here. So let us choose that to be your widget template too and uh, save that. So now I save it and you can see it's already reloaded and you can see that now we have uh, your widget template too. Cool. So now we can talk to the AI and start to, to do something. What I like to do is to connect with this auto uh, approve. So you can uh, choose, 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 choose if you want the AI to like just do whatever, go YOLO mode and and just do all the, the changes. Or if you want it to be more like, hey, um, is it okay if I do this change and whatnot? I just, just like to make it on auto approve. And also in the corner here, we have this plan and act. So we want to always start in the, the plan mode first, because then we can discuss with the AI what we are trying to do before it starts to uh, go or hammer on the on the different uh, on, on the code. So, it, when you are going to start creating a widget, for example, you might have some ideas about how you want to make the day like how you want to uh, structure the the data with different tables and fields and whatnot. But sometimes it can be cool to just discuss it with AI, uh, tell like briefly what you want to do, and uh, 
ask like well what is what do you think is the best regarding creating tables which create tables do we really need which fields do we need and like go from there and you really want to think about uh, doing a MVP minimal viable product so keep it very simple in the start make something that that works uh, at a like uh, that isn't very complicated and then you can build on that that is the the first tip tip I have for you guys so let's see if we want to um, uh, okay I don't want to want I don't want to create any tables right now so let's just uh, uh, please create a nice looking horse using your coding knowledge let's make it just for fun let's see what what happens so I'm now in the in the plan mode and now we can see the API is making the request and here you can see the the task and what like how many how much of um how many uh, coins or money you're using per per api call or request so this is the the money we're using so here's the the plan that it it wants to to do Sounds good to me. So let's click on uh, act. And now we can see it starts to write the, the code for us in the different uh, files. So see the Kimi 2 isn't that fast, but it's very cheap. I have no idea is if this is going to be good or not, but let's see. I find it quite fascinating just looking at it, just writing all the code. So you can see on the left side, you can see what we have now, and this is like uh, to the right side what it is doing right now then you can easily compare the changes especially if you don't have that auto approve uh, toggle on so it's writing a lot of CSS here Now we can see service now is updating because uh, uh, it's saved. So let's open it in the widget editor and see if we can take a look at the preview of the widget. And here we have the horse, nice. <laughs> you can see all it's uh, some uh, animations as well. That's really nice. But we can't, as you can see, we can't like, yeah, uh, the the tail is a bit off, but it's it's quite cool. What we can do sometimes that I, I've done is that I've taken a, a picture, and then I've opened the uh, paint, for example, paste in that a picture. Uh, sorry, let's do that again. And then you can to to uh, um sides like this and then you can for example try on this side to make it uh, as it's supposed to be so this is not really working as as good but yeah <laughs> not really but uh, as uh, as you can see you can try to to make this picture like the 
how you want it to by drawing stuff. And then you can see like, yeah, this is uh, version one. And this is version two. And now you can take a picture of this again. And you can send that uh, to the AI. Uh, saying that, okay, let's try to, can we do that? And put it back to plan mode and then you can see okay so version na version one is what we have what we currently have i wanted to look more like version two and then it got a bit more uh, context about what you want but if this was work working really nice let's uh, try to make it uh, try to reverse the image uh make uh, okay so try to reverse the reverse the image if the user clicks on it because then now it needs to to modify some of the the client script i think so agile finality reserve the horse image and clicked okay let's click on Add, uh, act and see if it can do that. So changing a bit of the HTML. And when the task is done, it's gonna say uh, that the what what you have done or it have done. And you can also see we got some comments here, flip horse function and whatnot. Uh, I'm not really sure that the AI really need those uh, comments. I asked the uh, ChatGPT like, do you read code better if it is commented or not? And then it said that uh, it didn't really matter. We didn't really need the, the comments. So um, to like save a bit of money, you can like uh, write something in the global instructions that it doesn't need to create or write any comments because it's really not needed uh, for the, the AI to understand the code. But from a human perspective, it's very nice to have the comments. And what's cool about this is that it has con uh, like the the context of all the different um, files, so you don't really need to copy and paste all uh, back and forth. Looks like it's almost uh, done now. Okay, so I've successfully added a click and run. Okay, cool. Let's see if it wants to update or... Um, okay, let's make a refresh just to be sure. Click me to flip. Nice, look at that. So you can see that it wasn't totally uh, perfect, but <laughs> I really like the the style here, like the um, the colors and like the animation. I find it really nice to. I didn't know you can do that in in like widgets in ServiceNow with this old uh, Angular uh, technology. But cool. I hope you liked that video and uh, make something cool. All right, see you in the next video.